Ex-Oshio Governor Aragbe Shola security personnel should sporadically um, cause panic in Oshogbun. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to be the first to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The incident occurred at about 5.40 p.m. as NSCDC Correctional Service immigration personnel escorted Aragbe Shola. Why did he shoot sporadically? Shoot sporadically without provocation. Hmm. At the end of the day, I don't really understand what this country is turning into. Sincerely, I don't. This is not this is not good news. This is not good news at all. Hopefully nobody was injured as that was not mentioned here. Thank God. The news in detail, please stay with us. The former governor's motorcade was attacked on Monday by hoodlums at Orisumbari, MFS Road in Oshogo, Oshun State, the, the capital. The pol police public relations officer, PPRO, S.Y.M.C. Okpalola made this known in a statement on Monday, noting that it was some of the minister's escort that opened fire without provocation. She explained that the incident occurred at about 5.40 p.m. as NSCDC Correctional Service immigration personnel escorted Aragbe Shola. She said, some more identified and people suspected to be political thugs were with the convoy. Suddenly, some of the security escorts of the minister started shooting sporadically into the air without any provocation or attack, thereby causing members of the public to scramble for their safety. Thirteen empty shells of G3 assault and AK-37 rifles were recovered along the road after the minister's departure. According to the spokesperson, no one died, stressing that a full report will be made available at the end of the investigation. However, Factional Publicity Secretary of All Progressive Congress, APC, Abiodu Agbola, earlier said the minister was attacked by political thugs while coming from, from Indonesia. Today's attempt on the life of the minister is a confirmation that Oshun is no longer a safe state, Agbola said. There is no way that it's safe. I kid you not. Absolutely no way. Absolutely no way. At the end of the day, this matter should not be swept under the carpet. Truth is constant, but in a statement last night, the spokesperson of the State Police Command, the M.S. Parola, said, conduct likely to cause a breach of a public peace. Today, 14th February 2022, at about 5.30 p.m., the Minister of Interior, Mr. Ralph Aragbeshila, was moving a convoy of personnel of, personnel of N. SCDC Correctional Service, Immigration, as well as some unidentified armed people suspected to be political thugs along Orishun Barry Road, MDS Road, Oshobo. Suddenly, some of the shootings as cause of a minister started shooting periodically into the air without any provocation for attack. Hmm. I think um, at the end of the day, this person, uh, this person is repeating the news. My own is at the end of the day, you should find the cause of this, find out why it happened, and also make sure it does not repeat itself. Thereby, I mean, take pro proactive measures. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.